Hey everyone, welcome back to my Let's Play of Etrian Odyssey 2 HD. I literally just woke up, so if I say anything or I can't talk, yeah, you know, the, the best part of waking. <laughs> okay, yeah, great example. Uh, anyways, hey, uh, sorry, I, I, I think I took a couple days off, I don't remember. Um, I was kind of really tired. I don't remember why, but, um, you know, that shit hits. And, uh, anyways, last time we beat the boss, we are now in post-game. Yay! And, um, y'all are not making me feel good about this with all your comments about how hard and impossible the boss is, so, um, yay! You know what I mean? Uh, but we're gonna go through and do some quests today. I really want to knock those out. Um, I know a number of you say, like, they have some good, like, you know, like, story stuff. Um, and obviously I don't want to miss any of that. Um... So this will be probably another episode where I'm kind of, it's a bit chopped up, you know, I'll be doing quests, you know, not showing you all the walking back and forth and all the struggles, unless they're funny, and we can all laugh at me later, um, but yeah, uh, that, that's the goal. But I think first we have to talk to people because we went to a new floor and then I, I skipped a floor, so sorry about that, but, uh, hello. Oh, is it true there was another stratum on top of the castle? It must be tough up there. Are you going to explore it too? Yeah, I tried. I'm a little worried. At this rate, you'll reach the sun before too long. Maybe you should only go into the labyrinth at night. What? After all, there's no sun at night, so you won't have to worry about being burned. Do you know how the solar system works? I don't think she does. Okay, well... Hey, bro, what up? Yes, can I help you? Are you sick or wounded or- Oh, it's you! So, there was a hidden forest beyond the floating castle. You must really enjoy exploring. Well, I won't get in your way. But that doesn't mean I'm letting you off without a warning. Is that clear? Wait, a warning for what? Oh, at that height, the oxygen level will be reduced and you may find it harder to breathe. Temperature also drops as you rise in altitude. At 1,000 meters, it will be near zero. Make sure to dress warmly and wear headgear. Mo most body heat is lost through the head. I thought it was lost through the feet. Did I make that up? Furthermore, wait, are you listening? Don't make that face. All right, I'll keep this brief and simple. If you feel weak or ill, come see me. Follow that rule and you should be fine. All right, thanks, bro. He's kind of like my favorite to voice. I feel like he's like Tagami, but nicer. Um, Dangaropa Tagami. Sorry, I shouldn't just throw random ass names out there. Hey, I also love her though. Welcome, oh, hi everyone. It's been a while since you first came to our shop. <laughs> it gives me a warm feeling to think about how long we've known each other. I get nervous when new faces walk in the door, but when I see it's you, I feel relaxed. Thanks for coming in so often and letting me get to know you. Browse as long as you like. Yeah, I can afford- well, actually, I can afford a lot. I have a lot of money. That was a lie. Do, 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 do. Okay. I don't, this one piece of hair, sorry, I keep seeing it on my face, and I think my brain's like, it's a bug! Uh, like, out of the corner of my eye, let me just... Okay, it's somewhere else now. <laughs> hey, Cass, Cass is also fun to voice. Oh, the dive! Go, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what voice that was also, what the hell is this man saying? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the dive, go on and step inside, ugh, my head. In honor of your lot, I've been partying every night and getting blind drunk every day. Oh, night, day, sorry. With a hangover every morning. So you're still going into the labyrinth room? You shouldn't do that. This is, I don't want that for you. Uh, are you even human? You're almost as scary as the beast of the forest. I'm scared to have you in my bar. Ah! When the labyrinth was first discovered, it drew all men as a guild still to God. I tell you, I never expected that any of them would make it up to the top. And I certainly never expected it would be a lot. You seemed so weak to begin with. I don't know whether to be happy or sad about that. Damn it. I really like you a lot. You've had that gleam in your eye from the get-go. When you get famous, even more than you are now, I mean. You better still visit my bar, got it? Ah! ah, ah. <laughs> oh, Cass. Okay. Hello. I ship them. Him and her, I ship them to the moon and back. Hmm, it's you. How's the floating castle? Any problems? I'm sure the strongest guild in Hylogard hates to hear this, but be careful. That's all I can say. May the Labyrinth's blessings be with you. That's all? But mom. 
Hey, dude, what up? <clears throat> I can't do this guy for long. Like, last time he had, like, a whole monologue and my throat was dying. Hello, Gilda Dive. I had wondered where you were... Back in the labyrinth, hmm? I see. So there's another stratum above the floating castle. Well, plants do naturally seek the sun. Makes sense to find them at the top of the castle. But remember, it is still the Yggdrasil Labyrinth. Don't forget that you are citizens of Lagard. Should you need any assistance, we are all willing to stake our lives on it. Your battle is ours. Don't neglect the help we can offer. I wish you well in your journey. Aw, oh, thanks, bro. Okay. Uh, mysterious sapley. Oh god, yeah. Uh, we gotta let her drive to the. To, uh, oh, uh, are these like the same thing? Wait, didn't I have a? Oh, there he is. Dare fire shoots. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to use the the guide. Um, I hate to do that. I know, like, I'm sure some people don't like that. You know, like. Oh, you're using the guy, you're not experiencing it, like, genuinely. But I also, like, don't have time to wander around all, like, 20-plus floors. You know what I mean? Like, my, not that I, I don't have time to, like, take in the game and record and, you know. But, like, there's certain parts that it's like, is it worth it? Me wandering around hoping to find shit. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think it is. So. HD Quest Guide. Oh shit. Okay, let me figure some stuff out and I will meet you all wherever we go. All right, y'all. So I went and got some of the items for the Dare Fry Shoots quest. Or I got all of them. And then I'm doing the tree trimming one and we're at the first spot, which is uh, floor five. Oh my God. Sorry, uh, A5. So I don't know what the dialogue is, but I want to make sure I showed it. Uh, you trudge on to the outlying areas of the forest. Trees, colossal branches, or sparse are here. You can see the sky. Think back to the quest you accepted at the bar. You've been asked to cut certain parts of Yggdrasil to take back into town. If you're certain this is one of the designated areas, cut the branch and use the spray. Yeah? Yggdrasil's branches spread in all directions, blocking the light shining down on the guard. Carefully cut through one of the branches, remembering to spray to the Oh my god spray the medicine afterwards you must cut branches from the north of the fifth floor the west of the tenth floor east of the 13th and the south of the 19th for a total of four branches if you have cut down all the branches they return to lagarde and report to the bar okay i have not okay if the dialogue's the same then i'll just cut to when i've got them all done okay y'all we cut the trees we got the items so let's uh turn in some quests Ah, well done. Looks like you cut down all the branches. Why do I keep yawning? Oh my god. Want to eat something funny though? One of those who... Uh, uh, <laughs> you know which branches you cut? Maybe it was just the wind, but it crashed smack into someone's house. Clear through the roof. Ah, uh, nah, no one's angry at you. Ah, don't worry about it. They've no idea it was you. And the best part? The house belonged to a total wanker. Ha! Ah. Ah, well done indeed. I wish you could have seen it. It brought a smile to my face. It was truly something special. Here's your reward. Come back anytime. Thanks. See, a lot went to find the stuff, eh? I knew you couldn't pass up the ultimate gun. I'll make sure that lady gets the whole kit and caboodle. And if she figures out where the gun is, I'll let you know at once. Keep your fingers crossed. Okay. Nectar 2? Ooh. Ooh. Item trade four. I'm bad with Roman numerals. Uh, Sitals trading requests that you retrieve some materials in order for them to create new equipment. Sure. Probably already done it. Ah, here comes the Sitals trading guild. Ah. Old man's got new plates for a new weapon, and you guessed it. He needs materials. Huh? What's that so? Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on? Outside and quick! What the fuck? Hurry! Hurry and get those files out. If you need more manpower, recruit the other guilds. You, form a team to get those civilians to the Duke's palace. And somebody get a medic. The dive, you're okay. 
Whoa! What happened? The city's been attacked. This area is relatively intact, but the west side's in bad shape. There have been reports of a beastly howl and multi-forked lightning raining on the city. Some say they saw a golden shadow in the sky, but no one knows what's really happening. Are you alright? Few of us here in the central city were hurt. The casualties are heavier in the west. I'm relieved to see you escaped unharmed. It's good to have people to rely on in a crisis. Let us help. Thank you, we could use your help. I think we have repairs here well in hand. Oh, well in hand here, unfortunately. For oh my god, fortunately. I had a different task in mind for you. You can handle it, right? There's little doubt in anyone's mind that this is the work of that monster. I want you to confirm the cause of this disaster. Without knowing the situation, we can't be sure the worst is over. The monster may return. Knowledge is the key to victory. We'll take action according to the information you gather. Now move out. We're counting on you the dive. Uh, might as well say no. Wait, lightning? Hold on, I just need a quick nap. <laughs> Wait, who is... Who that? Is that the quest I'm doing? Oh, it is. Wait, hold on. Is it the wyvern? We haven't fought the wyvern yet, have we? The item trade? Complete the quest imminent destruction? Huh? Oh wait, do I need to go get that? Hold on. Shit, wrong one. Sorry, my bad. Treasure Vault of the Wings ones has been damaged and their ancient treasures are in danger. The Waiting Wyvern. We've located the ultimate gun, but a dangerous dragon lives there. If you want the gun, take the quest. Oh, see, if I had not looked that up, I would have had no fucking idea that those were related. Okay, so I need to do this and then do the other one. Treasure Vault has been damaged. Okay. Ooh, you're all right. This is a disaster. Hospitals full up with the wounded. You're looking for, uh, bleh. you're looking to find out which monster did this, right? We can't let this stand. Hurry and find that thing and pay it back in kind. I always go southern sometimes. Yeah. Ah, that wasn't what I came here to say, though. I've got a job for you, but I don't know who requested it, but it's addressed directly to you. Yeah. God, why can't I talk today? There's a lot of game during the night. I don't know the details, but someone needs your help. Never saw high no hair of them, but they left a reward for you. Light phantoms, eh? Why do I sound southern right now? Yeah. 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 Ah, come on. <laughs> when I'm trying to get in my head for a voice, I have to, like, picture specific words that really, like, make me think of it. Obviously, you're the only guild I can ask to do this one. I'm counting on you. Let it concludes. I wait in the holy city on the 20th floor. Okay. This? Is that 20? 21. Oh. Hold on. Ba -ba 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 Fuck. <laughs> Alright, I'll meet you all there, okay? Let me just let me just walk. Oh shit, I found him. Uh oh, the dive. Welcome. May you receive the blessings of all knowing Nur, Father Ish, and Mother Isha. Please. Stay and make yourselves at home. We are a bit shaken at present, but pay it no mind. Clan Valine is running amok and has damaged the vault holding our most sacred treasures. It is a severe problem. Over half the treasures are unrecoverable. But for what reason have you come? We are always willing to help those we consider family. Lagarde was also attacked. That is a tragedy. There's no question that it is the work of Clan Valine. We cannot read the flow of Issa. Clan Valine's rampage has claimed your city in our vault. Since we have both been victims of this misfortune, it may be best to cooperate. Sure, Clan Valine, who the fuck? A golden reptile that has lived here for eons, it soars across the skies and wields lightning. Sometimes known as the dragon who walks with thunder. 
We have never beheld it with our own eyes before. We could not have guessed at its size. No, creating everything for a purpose. What purpose could that be serve? We accepted a quest. <laughs> a quest? Ah, a request from one of your own. What of it? You say the request came from one of us. Strange. It is our way to make every attempt at solving problems on our own before seeking help. However, the teachings also warn against refusing help when it is offered. Can you prove we asked? Uh, yeah, here's a letter. Now it is clear. I recognize this as the writing of some children from our village. They've asked your assistance, and thus you have come. Must be through the flow of Issa. I am powerless to assist resist his will. F Great the dive. Please help us. We are doing all that we can to move what treasures remain out of the vault. Treasure Vault is currently on the verge of collapse after Clan Valine's rampage. Will you go to the vault in the west and return with as many treasures as you can carry? The vault? Have we been there? I don't think so. It has been severely damaged already. It will not be long before it collapses entirely. The relics are also old, easily breakable. If you fall in battle, they will be lost. Oh, great. Please save as many treasures as you can. We are grateful for your help to dive. Huh? Huh? The west? Of where? Here? Huh? Hold on. I don't think I was supposed to recognize that, um... Lightning monster. I thought at first I was supposed to be like, okay, what if we fought that has lightning that we like didn't defeat? And the wyver the wyvern was the only thing I could think of. Uh, uh, he says the vault is to the west. It is actually on floor twenty one D one. Oh, fantastic! I love when I'm lied to, <laughs> straight to my face. Okay, let me get to twenty one D one. Oh, I found it. Uh, as you walk the castle, you hear a strange noise and look up as you clasp your weapon's handle. Further down, you see two winged ones crossing over the pillars and vanishing between the walls. Follow them until you come across a damaged wall. This must be related to the quest you accepted from the winged ones. You agree to help transport their ancient treasures back to the village. The roof above is already cracked, and in its state, it may crumble at any moment. The winged ones you saw before fly back into view, carrying something as they leave. You head into the vault, pick out the most important looking treasures, and quickly leave. Wing Cash. Can I just skeet skirt? Yeah. Okay. Oh shit. I, I didn't turn it in? Oh, do I have to bring it back to him? Huh? Ah oh, shit. <laughs> I gotta go to him and not. Okay. Rip. Rip. I regret it. I regret it. Uh, it's okay. He's pretty close to the door. Do I still have it? I hope so. Come on. I brought you a gift. The dive. You have brought back some very important treasures. I admit, I was not expecting such superb work from Earthbound ones. The vault has not yet collapsed. We ask that you retrieve more treasures. I gotta go again? Alright, well, I'll meet you guys back there, I guess. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Okay, so we're back here. It says, uh, you're trying to the treasure vault, uh, just, and it looks like the caves are about, the walls are about the cave in? I can't talk. Uh, it's only a matter of time before the entire structure implodes. You quickly run in, gather what you can, and make your way out. Okay, back we go. I see you've returned the dive. Ah, you have brought back even uh, even brought back the documents. There is one last favor we must ask of you. The very back of the vault is a box. You could manage to bring it back safe. We can ask nothing more of you. Thank you. All right, I've been downgraded to Kanan's little errand bitch boy. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Okay, we're helping. We're helping. You know, we're helping. Maybe then they'll help us fight. Cladingding. 
Cl Clandaline. Clandaline? By the time you reach the wall for the third time, half my party is dead, it's fine. Uh, the walls around you are groaning. Taking extra care not to disturb anything, you set foot inside and cast your gaze around. You see the box, but at the same time, Vivian calls out, noticing a figure on the ground. It pound once. You must recover the box. Do not spare a thought from me. Quickly, get the box. The winged one lies unconscious. He seems to have been struck by fall and debris. Even the ceiling is making a terrible noise now. It is no longer safe to be here. You can heed the winged one's request and save the box, or attend to the winged one instead. We saved the guy, right? Your conscience will not allow you to leave the winged one in a collapsing vault. Moments after carrying him out, the vault crumbles. There is no hope of retrieving the box. I hope the winged ones will understand your actions in light of the circumstances. We have- don't we have enough people to grab the box and also carry the man? The unconscious wing one is safe. You must take him back to his home. You belatedly recall the quest you accepted from the winged ones. Fortunately, your comrades are injured and have fallen. Any treasures you may have been holding have been destroyed and cannot be recovered. Even if you carry no treasure, you do not like the main bar to retrieve any. Either way, this quest cannot be completed without a full complement of explorers. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? But they were dead. They didn't die while holding the treasures. Oh, okay. Let me ugh, let me reload. I'll do it all again. God damn it. Okay, everybody, we're back. Uh, we're about to go talk to the guy. Can I and see if he's gonna beat my ass for saving his friend? I see you could not retrieve the box. I suppose it is also according to the flow of Isa. We will tend to our wounded. His injuries are not severe, and his life will be saved. You seem hesitant. Do not be. You have your own teachings, and you followed them this day. It is Issa's will that his life was spared in exchange for the box. We live in different ways, with different beliefs. That is natural. Let us acknowledge our differences and live in harmony. Your beliefs and our own are all part of a vast, unknowable whole. No one is an outsider. We will think on what we may consider worthy compensation. I must tend to our wounded and inspect the treasures. Perhaps later we can... Ha! Ah, don't you usually report after you finish a quest? Why don't you return here once you have reported? We will have something for you then. Bro, you're gonna make me walk back here again? Okay. God, it's a never... It's just a never-ending walking. It's a walking simulator. I did it! Ah, you're back. I got another letter for you here. It's the same man writing as before. Must be the client. Thanks you for your efforts. So out with it. Who is this client anyways? Come on, you know I'm curious. You did the job. You have to know who it was. Ah, wipe that bloody grit off your faces. Fine, forget it. But if you want to talk about it later, I won't be listening. Take your reward and get out. Be nice to me, man. Uh, that he... Wyvern. Hey, do you all remember that old geezer banging on about the ultimate gun? Claimed his cohort can find the gun through divination. It's not fishy to me, but in case you believe them, I'll tell you straight up. Lady says the blasted thing is on the second bloody floor of the labyrinth. That's all I know. If you believe that rubbish, go there and look for it. Oh lord. They want me to fight the... Wyvern? I shouldn't sleep for that only that much health. Um, let me buy. Uh 
Okay. Um, who? I I would have thought the that he would be very weak by now. But maybe not. Maybe that's the challenge. They keep him very, very, very strong so that by the end of the game, you can actually fight him. Which is pretty cool. I like that. Uh, yeah, we'll just take two. Okay. I'm willing to try it. Save. I think someone leveled up. Hold on. Um... Oh yeah, Hrothgar. What was I doing? Agility, take a look, come all. Interesting idea. I mean, tenacity might be good, right? Just to like have him survive a hit and then I can heal him, you know? One less person to worry about dying. Let me try studying the enemy, but I don't think I really liked that one. I'd say either that or devour, but I don't want an enemy to drain HP, you know? Maybe we do that so he has more stuff to do. Because he doesn't really run out of TP, right? Because his, his like, praying and then doze off, or doze off is like one. This is what? Six? He could use some attacks. Maybe we do maul. And then devour, because that's another way to heal while also doing damage. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, bu 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 what was I doing? HP? So she doesn't die as much? Uh, do -do. Salve, healing, full. Oh, full heal. That's right. It's how much? 22. Could be worse. Okay. Uh, the second floor? That's it's so weird. Is there really all this stuff? Really? That's where the nest is? Wait, I thought the... Wait, wasn't the wyvern on the... What? Am I confusing two monsters? Wasn't the wyvern the one with the nest? Yeah, wasn't that the wyvern? I don't know. Okay, maybe this is finally gonna let us in to the right side of that area, though, which we still haven't explored, so I'm down. A mysterious cry could be heard in the distance on this familiar floor of the labyrinth. Think back to the quest you accepted at the bar. It's up to you whether to continue your exploration or leave the labyrinth. Bro, I literally came here for this. Maybe the wyvern moves spots? I don't know. I don't know. A little bit confused. Oh lord. As you walk through the hidden path into the labyrinth, two familiar figures appear. Hey! It's been a while. Thanks for helping us the other day. Ardolin bounds and appreci- Bounds? Hello? Bows in appreciation as the old marksman silently stands beside her. Wilhelm finally speaks, asking, Did you come here for the ultimate gun, as I promised? Skase turns to the interior of the labyrinth and falls back to you. Then you're on the right path. The flying dragon is up ahead, along with the ultimate gun. The old marksman falls silent once again. The black-haired witch asks you a question. Wondering how Agnia, the ultimate gun, ended up in a place like this. The question hangs in the air as you try to decide whether you really want to know. Yeah, sure. She began to speak as if she had expected your answer. You remember how I told you about my friend who explored the labyrinth with us? She died in the third stratum and got transformed into a demon. She trails off, pained, as the old marksman picks up the tale. Another in the girl's party was a gunner. He mentioned me when, mentored me when I was young. He searched for the fiend that took her life. 
Alone he entered the labyrinth. He chased the demon through the pain and injuries and untold despair he faced. Until at last he cornered the fleeing demon. Just up the road, that gunner fought the flying dragon alone and met his end. The gun he wielded was called Agnia, the strongest, greatest gun I've ever known. Originally, I was meant to carry on after him. I used Agnia to defeat the dragon. But I haven't the strength anymore. You're the ones who must take up his cause. Go forth if you're brave enough and defeat that flying dragon. The old man looks to the labyrinth's interior and allows you to pass. You may fight the flying dragon now or return to the guard first in order to prepare. Oh, yay! Can't fucking wait. Um. Poo, poo. Okay, here, here we go. Yippee ki yay. Um, let me. <laughs> Ooh. I don't think we were able to do this. If it's like a post game situation, it's probably gonna be fucking impossible. Hey. What'd it do? Oh, is this the one from the beginning of the game? I don't remember. Hey, dude, what'd it do? Okay, what do we think? Arm shot? Ooh, that's, that's a little bit of damage there. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Volt. Headshot. Yeah, no big deal. Uh, uh huh. Did Volt do any damage? I wasn't even looking. Fire. <laughs> uh. Woo. Probably not gonna happen right now, if I'm being honest. Um, okay. Yeah, we might need to level up a little bit. No big deal. Just another day in the post-game world. Um, okay. So... I guess let's go talk to Kanan then. Uh, I need an item. I need a uh, uh, Ariani. 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 Don't forget Allison. Okay, okay. Back to Kanan we go. Yo, what up, amigo? Hmm? Ah, the dive. I'm sorry to have troubled you. Our part of the work has ended. In the name of the Father Ish and Mother Isha, I welcome you. Now then, you're investigating Clan Valin, aren't you? Hmm? Well, you must excuse me. Oh my god. Clan Valine is our word for it. Among the earthbound ones, the golden monster is simply known as the dragon. Its true character is unknown, but it has attacked. If it has attacked, it must have been an act of God. But if you plan to oppose it, such is the will of Issa, I shall tell you what I know. The documents you carried not long ago happen to contain a legend regarding Clan Valine. Take these. They may help you investigate the monster that attacked your town. They may be of limited use, but they should have contained enough information to aid your task. It is written that the one who appears with thunder howls with rage on the heavenly seat. The legend says now, is that season when the beast's wrath waxes, it will not end soon. 
You must act quickly to quell its rage. If you would defeat it, then move swiftly. The gold book. Scripture of the Winged Ones... Oh my god. Why can, I literally can't talk today. The Winged Ones relating to the Golden Snake. Wait, so like... Oh, oh, I can go back to town now? Okay. Uh, yeah. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum -bum. Back we go! Okay, I... Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> I did it! Uh, oh, you're back! I heard the story! You found that fiend to attack the city. Reconstruction's moving along, but I hate to think it could strike again any time. Huh? What's this dirty old book? From the winged ones. What's it have to do with the monster? You know, an old thing like this from the winged ones could fetch a tidy profit. No, oh, no, I understand. I gotta take this for the Grand Duchy, right? I won't get greedy when the fate of the city's at stake. Here's the reward. If something else comes up, we'll be counting on you. Yeah, bro, you better not. Um, okay, so Wyvern's gonna have to wait. Um, the sun shines down. Casualties on the 13th floor. Culprit seems to only appear at a certain hour. That was they. I see you're in the mood for a challenge. Well, at least the story. Grand Duchess is a monster on the 13th floor. It's Thrash and Guilt, left and right. He is the strange part. When they went back to find the items they lost, it was all gone. Think a monster might be stealing them? Yeah, me neither, but something funny is going on. West asked you to go defeat the monster, but I know what you'll really be after. Do I really have to spell it out for you? Are you that innocent? Think. I attacked all those guilds and they all lost their items, so I'm talking about the treasure. Wouldn't you like a little something on top of the reward? Rules say you gotta keep anything you find in the labyrinth. That's perfect. I almost forgot. One more thing I need to tell you. From all I've heard, I gather this beastie comes out only during certain times of the day. Must be the thing's fiend time, eh? It'll show on the 13th floor from noon to one. The place is so dangerous that they'll nary a, there's nary a god to be found. You'll be on your own. Good luck. Okay. Noon to one, eh? I wonder where. Probably looked it up. I mean, I guess I could walk around. 13th floor? Uh... Okay, I'll go find it. Okay. Uh, as you walk through the forest, you hear the high strains of a flute throughout the area. Try to pinpoint the sound, but it's too late, and the noise dies before you can locate it. Just after it, however, you hear a low roar nearby. Reminds you of the quest you accepted at the bar. Your task is to defeat the monster, assaulting the explorers. The hour of the monster's coming is at hand. You don't have long to find it if you intend to begin your hunt now. Nope, there it is. Thick claw? Two C's? No. <laughs> Okay, so I'll flute playing. So that's what I was kind of thinking, like someone summoning this monster to attack explorers and then they take the loot, right? I mean, it's the only logical explanation I can think of. Um, I think this quest is old, so I don't know if this is going to be much of a fight, but I'll go in pretending it will. Okay, nope. Monster's roar again echoes through the forest, followed by a long silence. You detect someone behind you and spin to face them, but it's only a guard. Hey, what happened? I heard a noise from over there, but it seems like you're okay. The guard's face is hidden by his helm, but you're sure you've heard that voice before. Tell the guard of your quest from the Grand Duchy. Wow, sounds tough. I bet it's made you thirsty. Why don't you all have some of my water? Dark takes the water skin and drinks the first gulp. Something belatedly dawns on you. Didn't Cass tell you there were no guards posted on the 13th floor? Why the fuck am I drinking the water? Why didn't they ask me? The guard before you shouldn't be here at all. Dark realizes this too and spits the water out. As Dark gasps in pain, the rest of the party draws their weapons. Pseudo guard smoothly dodges, landing on a nearby branch out of your reach. Tch, two for two. You're smarter than I thought. Time for you to die already. Before you know it, the pseudo guard disappears into the labyrinth. You now recognize him as the thief who tricked you before. Twice now, you've been a victim of his mischief. 
When you have a moment, return to the bar and report this nonsense. Dark lost 10 HP. What a hoe. Uh, okay. Why Why did we just drip? Did I forget to get an Ariadne thread? I'm crying. Okay. Well, let me walk back. <clears throat> yep. All right, hello, Cass, I did it. Ah, there you are, how was it? Find any good treasure? Huh? That thief again? So it was all his doing, eh? He asked around you in there since that last incident. Heard the treasure you tried to get last time was a flute to control the monsters. It only works on a few species, but it's still bad news. I assumed he got it to steal something from another floor, but never thought he was after the explorer's loot all this time. I'll keep Mike in inquiry, so keep your shirt on. Ah, and I can't forget your reward, of course. You killed the monster, so here you go. Good luck. <gasps> no! Missing pet! While well, escaping from ma Labyrinth Monsters, my pet was left behind. I begged for your assistance. Law and order. We found the thief. I alerted the guards, but this has to be dealt with quickly. It's up to you. Let's go. Ah, there you are. Did you find them? Oh? Oh, I meant that thief from before. Grant that you got one of a flute that controls monsters. You're not his only victims. They already sent out the guard corps, but you've been tricked twice already. This is your fight. Bastard's on the 17th floor. I say you pay him a visit. Oh, let's fucking go. Uh, let me get there and we will beat his ass. <laughs> oh, hello. As you move further into the labyrinth, the lone guard appears from a nearby thicket. But your eye has been trained by now to spot his abnormal movements. Before your weapons are fully unsheathed, the imposter jumps back, a grin on his face. Heh, not bad. Guess I can't fool you three times. Thief pulls out a slender object and puts it to his lips. I almost said puts it to his flute. <laughs> the monster controlling flute. Its high-pitched tone causes a cacophony of monster shrieks from all sides. If you run, I'll spare you. I'm on a schedule. I need to get to town, huh? Can't be. You now see the magnitude of the villain's horrifying plot. He tends to use these monsters to attack the guard. According to Cass, the guard corps should be here, but there isn't a moment to waste. You ready yourselves for battle, knowing that you must dispose of all the end source sold monsters. That's a word. He must not relax for an instant until all the monsters under his control have been slain. All right, let's go. I'm not afraid. Where are they? Huh? Where'd they go? Huh? Where are they? Oh, shit. Bring a bitch. Band of... What? Band of beyond? Bang up Probably gonna be weak, but let's go. Ow. Oh, okay, we're fine. Circuit bench. Okay, Bang up What a name. Can I just like. I probably should not auto battle. That's probably a bad idea. Uh, fire. Ooh, ow. It's weird they're not uh, kiting each other though. You know what I mean? Like they're not turning red. You'd think they would be. I wish they would because then I could take care of them all at once, but whatever. Hello. Okay, three more. Hello. What? Well, excuse me. Monsters under the village control escaped your soul. heading for the city. You have failed. It may not be too late to try again if you reach it. Wait, I didn't know they were trying to reach the. I didn't. Ugh. <laughs> I didn't know they were trying to reach the stairs. It didn't really seem like they were moving anywhere. God damn it. Okay, hold on. I'll do it again. Okay, that should be the last one. Oh, thank God. As you finish off the last of the monsters, you spy the thief attempting to flee the scene. You give chase, but suddenly you hear a human scream, followed by a beastly roar. Seems there was still a monster or two left that the flute lured in. In its haste to escape, the thief lost control, meaning his... Meeting his end at their claws and fangs. Oh, shit. Your quest is complete. Oh, yay! It's time you head <laughs> back to the bar for your reward. Wait, should we, like, grab the flute? Shouldn't we, like, not let that exist out here? Seems like a bad idea. Alright, whatever, I guess. 
I did. Oh, I didn't. The monsters did it. Good to see ya. So, did you catch that thief? Nah, no, that's what I like to hear. Yeah, it is much already. It's hard to believe what the bastard really had in mind. How am I you my thanks? You did quite well. Lots of people praising the dive these days. He wasn't only guardian, just some foreigner ex posing as an explorer. Turns out the man was so notorious that he's wanted in four separate countries. I know the Grand Duchy is awfully grateful that you're able to bring him in. I don't know if it's worth all the work you did, but think of that as a little bonus. Ta. Here's your reward with a little something extra from the Grand Duchy. Thanks again, you lot. A little something extra? It's one Amrita. What are you... What's the extra? Missing pet? Okay. I knew you'd take that one. It was actually made for you. No one else could take it. Client specifically said so. The rest is a secret. Not allowed to say anything but what I've already told you. Whoops. Dropped a piece of paper on the bar. Damn my clumsy fingers. Why don't you pick it up for me and throw it away, huh? I won't tell anyone about my little attack of the palsy if you don't. You'll find out why it's so all fired secret anyway soon. Ha! Memo reads, 11 at the Grand Duchy. Oh, he didn't say that. The memo reads, 11 p.m. at the Grand Duchy. Okay. Now we the report. Yeah, that wyvern one's gonna take a minute. Okay. A uh, nap, I guess? 11 p.m.? Oh, man, these people really gotta make me wait around and then go walk around outside for five hours. Okay, let me go. Let me go meander back and forth. <laughs> knock, knock, it's 11. Greetings, Guild the Dive. Thank you for accepting my rather unusual request. Not long ago, I ventured into the labyrinth without the knowledge of my advisors. I sought to save my father. I couldn't stand to see so many doing so much while I sat idle. As the labyrinth is dangerous to brave by oneself, I took my faithful hound, King. Just as King and I entered the 16th floor, we encountered a horde of monsters. I was ready with the sword, and King fought bravely as well. But in the end, the numbers were too great, and their strength too terrible. When they overwhelmed me and knocked me to the forest floor, King drew their attention away and led them into the labyrinth. Shortly thereafter, the Guard Corps arrived and escorted me from the labyrinth. But brave, faithful King, the one who saved my life, is still trapped in that maze. Minister Dubois and the Guards tell me that I must honor his memory by staying out of harm. But that requires me to accept his death, and I do not. I would have you go into the labyrinth to rescue my hound. But you must do this in secret. No one may learn of my request to you. When you find King, and I know that you shall, Leave him with Mr. Cass at the bar. Someone approaches. I must leave now. Please, find King. But do not jeopardize your own lives in the process. May you be safe in your search. Oh, is there something I could do for you, explorers? Yeah, no, no, I'm good, man. Don't worry. Okay, what, what did she say? 16th? Uh... Here? As you proceed through the labyrinth, you hear a faint noise in the distance. You listen carefully and can barely make out the piteous howl of an animal. You remember now the quest she accepted from the Duke's daughter. You agreed to save her lost hunting dog. You're not certain that it was a dog's cry you heard, but it was definitely an animal howl. Wow. Your first step is to try and find the animal that let out such a distressed cry. But be careful. The animal is clearly in danger and a dog's senses are keen. If you make too much noise, the animal will run from you and never come back. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, hold on. Let me just, you know, tiptoe around until I find it. <laughs> okay, so I think we... So we had to get up here to A6 without running into the three foes you see, sort of like on this path from the door. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> as soon as you enter the room, the howl you heard earlier repeats. You don't yet see the source of the sound. Thorough investigation of the room should reveal it. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, thanks for that. Nice interruption. Where am I? Ow. Oh.
You spot a dog at the end of the hidden area, fear evident in its manner. You approach it cautiously, but the dog steps backwards with a whimper. You rack your brains for anything that could ease its nerves. You vaguely recall that the Duke's daughter told you the hound's name. But what was it? Rex? Yeah. You're certain from what you remember that the dog's name is not Rex, but King. You call the dog's name and his ears perk up. Slowly, carefully, you walk up to him and reach out a hand. The dog licks it eagerly. Your worries are over now that the dog is calm and obedient. You pick him up and walk away. Oh god, did I buy an Ariadne thread? Oh, for frickle pickle's sake. <sighs> okay, let me walk back. Don't worry about- Oh, are the, the foes gone? Oh, okay, great. Okay, yeah, let me walk back. Let me walk back real quick. Alright, I got the dog. Ah, you're back. Did you have fun on your secret errand? Sorry, I couldn't tell you that the lady- <laughs> I should learn to mind what I'm saying. Nah, the poor pup is hurt. Hope you weren't foolish enough to take him by force. Ah, just kidding. I'll take the dog to her by the back way. Here's the reward I know you've been waiting for. Too bad you won't get any recognition. Better luck next time. Ah! That's okay. We helped the dog. My husband had some items from the lab. Spray the dying trees. Sure. You taking that quest? Ah, ah, ah! What? No, I wasn't laughing for no reason. I'm no freak. It's another job from the doc, you see. Looks like he's got some good news for you. Why was he laughing? Why don't you head over to the hospital and ask him about it? What? What was so funny? I don't understand. Huh? I don't get the- I really don't get the- he just- he's just happy. Okay, before I do anything, let me fucking buy it. Oh, I'm out of room. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. I hear you. I got a bunch of trash I got from walking around. That unlocked a new item? Wow, I must not have- uh, I must not have had that. Let me just buy two for the sake of my sanity. Uh, yeah, da, 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 da. Yo, what up, bro? Yes, can I help you? Oh, you came, thank you. Do you remember the medicine my assistant was testing solo? The one for the withered trees. Northern Academy has finally approved its use. This calls for a celebration. If it weren't for you. Uh, I don't remember what voice I gave you. Oh, there you are. Doctor, everyone is here. Please hurry. Oops, sorry, I lost track of time. I'm so unprepared. Anyhow, I'd like you to- Come on, everything's ready. You have to go. That man, when he gets started on medicine, it's like he enters another world. Oh, she's talking about us. Sorry. That man. Anyway, we should go too. Huh? Wait, he didn't tell you anything? But it looked like he was talking so much. Oh, I can't believe him. Okay, I'll explain. That salve I was testing was accepted by the Northern Academy for general use. So I'd like you to come into the labyrinth and help us apply it to four areas. Northwest of the second floor, northeast of the sixth, south of the ninth, and the center of the fifteenth. If anyone is injured such that they can't walk, we'll put the whole expedition on hold. As you expect, an outing of doctors and their assistants is very safety conscious. I'll come with you. Just try to make sure no one gets heavily injured. Now, shall we head out? Ah, uh, that sounds like a grand old time. Um, I might call it here though. I don't know how long this episode is. I've been recording for a bit now, you know, on and off walking and redoing quests because I failed them accidentally. But hey, thank y'all so much for your taste for the series. I hope you're still enjoying. I'm excited to do this stuff and then move on to the next one. Um, look, I'm down to play all the Edge of Odyssey games. I don't know if you want to see that. I think some of you expressed that. And if there's a couple of you that want to see it, hey, I'm happy to oblige. So. I'm excited to keep going. I really want to try and beat the wyvern. We may have to level up a bit. We'll see what happens. I can always grind levels if I need to. But anyways, as always, feel free to leave a like, comment, favorite, or subscribe, or become a member, whatever y'all are feeling. And until the next time, lights off, dark, out.